I think one of the big differences between someone just starting to windsurf and becoming an intermediate to actually starting to chill out and enjoy the ride on the board and enjoy the session without tensing every possible muscle is the fact that you can ride your equipment, not just hang on to it for dear life. And that's basically what I'm gonna go through just now. You're joining me on a pretty windy day in Greece here. I'm on a five meter freestyle wave sail and a 104 freestyle wave board. It's gonna be pretty powered up in fairly choppy conditions. And my aim, I don't wanna say my aim is to relax. My aim is to have a nice chilled out sort of session without being knackered and tensing up. But my aim is to play with the kit play with the waves and ride through what's going on, not just stand locked in one position. So we're on the way out just now. We've got for a couple, couple less cameras in for the first one in this series. If you haven't got my face, I feel like you've seen enough of my face. So we've got a tail camera and one on the clue of the sail at the back there. What I hope you can see from these two shots, these two angles, is I'm not stuck tensed in one position. As a beginner, and when you first learn to get onto the board, that's what we tend to do. We tend to sit in one position and stay there. But as you can see with the chop and the wave and probably the noise of the wind amongst me now, you can't just stand in one position. If I stand in one position, I'm just going to uh, just going to get slapped about. No one wants to get slapped about. There's a wave right down it, back up the other side. So there's me with you right now. Just about to see you on that camera. Obviously, vision being is so important for this. You do need to be looking up towards the wind and towards the waves. As much as I want to look at the screen back there down here you can just about see <laughs> but that's a wave riding through and you'll see a lot of movement between my heels and my toes right now I'm hard on my heels in particular my back foot trying to bring the board back up wind I'm about to go for a jibe it's a flatten the board out and through the jibe I'm riding that wave around back into the head onto the chop. You can now start to pick a little bit more. Pushing down, getting a bit of speed, ride it back up. It should be a fun sport. It shouldn't be tense there, locked in one position. All these little adjustments are needed constantly to stay under control. wave coming ahead of me there, I'm going to ride down the wave, sheet out, back up, wind again. As the ramp hits, one little analogy I quite like if you're just starting to deal with chop, is the board's going up and down, but I'm trying to keep my head at the same level, almost like there's a ceiling above my head. And if I just stand up tall, way like that one, you just take off by accident. I haven't really got much control. If my knees are soft, I'm riding and changing the direction, playing through the chop and the swell, or woo, jumping a little bit when you see the ramp, things start to get easier. Exactly the same through this next jive. There's chop, there's swell. I can't just have a smooth route through it. I've got to pick my route.
put back in. I'm going to pick my roots and line up to go smoothly through that chop. Give yourself the best chance. That's a fun one. Give yourself the best chance you can by riding through that chop and into your jibe or into your tack. Or like I am now, just in a nice straight line, bearing away a little bit, playing off the back of some of these waves, back up wind again towards the chop. There's my chop. today and the key tips I want from you, the key tips I'm trying to get across is it's meant to be a bit of fun, it's meant to be playful, you're meant to be a little bit all over the place, not just in a straight line. Play with the chops, play with the waves and adapt to what you can see in front of you. Beginners and low intermediate stand in a straight line, as you get better start bringing it around the place, start to play. As always thanks for watching me today, thanks for getting involved. Stay tuned, like and subscribe, many more videos already uploaded and plenty more coming along in hopefully more conditions like I've got here today.